Okay, hi guys. So in today's video, we will talk about a really interesting topic. It will be like the one I made for homecoming. Uh, I have Leslie, we're on the same bed. Hi. I don't have a towel on my head. And I will ask her questions about chatter dates. So first of all, let's start off like this. What are chatter dates? Chatter days is a it's a celebration that's only celebrated in like, southern. like the southern part of Texas. Okay, so how I know it's like the last week of February. It that's is. when when uh, chatter days are. It's basically the celebration of like the Mexican heritage in the era. In my Spanish class, I learned that uh, before this whole uh, border thing. People could just cross from Mexico without papers, without anything. It was like a free cross. So every Charity Days they came and they celebrated with the Americans and they honored the Mexican culture. Yeah, it's more of a day to celebrate the friendship between Matamoros and Brownsville, which are the cities in Mexico and the United States. Mostly for this they have a parade. I think it's for two days only and not three. Yeah. But the fest is for three days. Yeah, and that's my second question. How do you celebrate? <coughs> so you already said that there are, I think there are like three parades, one on Thursday, oh. one on Friday and one on a Saturday. On Thursday there are like the mini, the mini fests in the schools. Oh, yeah. Friday is the parade from seven yes. and on Saturday there's the sombrero fest where we went. So, but first of all, how do we celebrate in school? Okay, in school we have little mini contests. There's one of the traditional... The traditional clothing, clothing right? Clothing, yes. Yeah, so we, when we went to school on, on Thursday, we both were like dressed up as, uh, as like Mexicans. So we had like the whole outfit and, uh, and like the thing in, in your hair and everything. And uh, we both were like basically pushed up onto the stage and we actually like had to introduce ourselves and show, show our outfit and everything and guess who won the, the contest? <laughs> she, every year she wins the contest, every year she wins the traditional clothing uh. contest. You, I will, I will put a picture somewhere, she looked amazing, like she looked Wow! Okay, another contest. The chili con carne contest is basically who can take the spiciest chili con carne or who made the best also that one too. I'm getting better and better with spicy food but I'm still not there. <laughs> Sometimes they eat something and I'm like how can you eat this guys? And especially when it's like spicy and sweet, nah, it's not for me. It's good. It's delicious. <laughs> so usually in school people dance and uh, they sing and everybody... We have like half a day, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we have shorter uh, periods and then the, the, the other half of the day is just like celebration and dancing and eating and there are a lot of food all over the school. There is a really weird thing, I've only seen it here and I think it's super cool and that's the Grito which is, there is basically another contest called the Grito contest and uh, there's two, one for the teachers, one for and, the one teachers for the and one for the students I only have footage of the teachers one and I will put it here so you can understand what Grito is Yay! 
So that is the grito, everybody. And what is it? You're supposed to make a mariachi scream. A mariachi scream. Which is supposed to sound like this. <laughs> sometimes they get it, sometimes they, they can like do it great. I guess. There was only the Cuban guy got it right. Kind yeah, of. yeah, the the man who won the contest, he the was teacher. The he, one. Yeah, he was the closest one. So for my last question, we turn the lights on. <laughs> so my last question is, what is the Sombrero Fest? Okay, the Sombrero Fest is like a carnival and basically the Mexican version of Coachella. <laughs> selling a lot of food, a lot of clothing and objects. Yeah, like I saw, I think, like shot glasses mm -hmm. with like a, a cowboy uh, boot and all, all crazy stuff. I and think they also sold whips. Yes, they sold whips and belts and, and a lot of Mexican things. And they also sell food like Mexican candies. Yeah, we were wearing our Mexi Mexican shirts and I bought two little Mexican uh, bows. bows yeah and it's it's super good because Mexi uh, because Mexico's colors are green white and red and Hungary's colors are the same <laughs> so when I go back I get to use them we were volunteering <laughs> yeah we were actually volunteering at the sombrero fest yeah. So when we volunteered, we were selling uh, we were selling drinks. drinks, right? So people came, they uh, gave us a ticket and they got a drink, and it was a really good experience. <laughs> I got to practice my English. And uh, everybody was like dressed up in like uh, cowboy clothes or uh, Mexican clothing. Also, there was a Chick Fil A stand, and oh, I yes. <laughs> and I met their met their like animal, like a cow. So Chick Fil A's mascot is a cow, <laughs> which makes no sense because they are selling chicken. But I mean, it makes sense because they have this whole thing of uh, eat more chicken, says the cow. Yeah, and I, I ate my first Mexican churro, which I stole from Leslie. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope I could give you some information about charities and uh, how big celebration it is over here. Uh, thank you, Leslie. <laughs> For helping me and for answering my questions please like and enjoy <laughs> enjoy like subscribe comment say what you want to see next watch all my previous videos I think that's all I have to say <laughs> uh, I really hope that you enjoy it and have a nice day 
And the next video is coming soon. I know I wasn't uh, too active in the last weeks because I was wo working on something super big and I really hope that you will like it. So just have a nice day and bye! Bye!